Hey, Robert. What have you got here? A truck. A truck? Yeah. <clears throat> What's the truck for? To haul stuff and drive out in the roads, uh, to drive on the roads out in contentment. <laughs> about the truck robber well we have been looking for kind of an older vehicle to drive around out there because mine my Ford Edge <coughs> isn't really a good vehicle for that area mm -hmm. <coughs> so anyway we've been looking and looking and finally, we found this one in Missouri on Facebook. It's a 94, 94 Ford F-250 standard um, straight uh, inline six. Uh -huh. And uh, we got it for a steal. Great. And now we replaced the clutch. The clutch is going out or has gone out. There is actually a rat living in it so the drive shaft is out it took a little bit of wiggling but we got the transmission loose that's good it looks like there was a rat or some mice or something that uh set up camp in here sometime this is the pressure plate there is some significant wear here on this bearing surface where the bearing touches it um, also it looks like little pieces of rat's nest uh, got caught up in the thing. So I've got the pressure plate uh, pulled off along with the clutch plate. And I'm looking at the flywheel. This is the back of the engine. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some real tiny cracks in the metal right there. Also a lot of blue uh, rainbowing or bluing along this. That tells me that this pressure plate got really hot. And so you can see, I just grab a little instrument like this and sort of grab it and yank. All right. Here's the new seal. Just got to find a way to press it in there evenly. Okay, so the new seal's in. Uh, brown on a seal like this usually means that it's uh, heavy duty or high heat, a resistance seal, which is good. So while I was at it, after I pulled the slave cylinder off, I also installed a new uh, seal here. Uh, this is the input shaft, uh, new input shaft seal in the front. You know, as long as you're in here and these parts are cheap, might as well do it. So we got the uh, slave cylinder installed. The flywheel is just hanging there. We need to get the uh, little cover plate installed behind it and put the flywheel on properly torque it down and then mount uh, the clutch plate and pressure plate to that and then uh, install the transmission again okay so the uh, plates been plates on I need to paint it because I need to clean it up and paint it since it's starting to rust a little bit uh, but I got the uh, new flywheel in I cleaned it up a little bit and that's an important thing you got to keep these things clean uh, while you're putting all this together, if you get any grease or anything on here, uh, it'll, uh, the, uh, it could affect how the clutch performs. And there's the clutch plate. The clutch plate just sort of sits there and is held in place with this little spline tool, uh, you know, until I can get the pressure plate on. Okay, so the clutch plate, which is behind this, and the pressure plate are in. And there's a little spline tool here that sits in here temporarily. I can pull it, but what it does is it holds the clutch plate. It aligns the clutch plate with the shaft uh, hole and holds it in place while you tighten this so that it, uh, it keeps everything aligned so you can put the transmission on because there's, a, there's an input shaft that'll go here in place of this little spline tool when I pull it out. At one point, so... We fixed that up <coughs> and um, changed the clutch out and now we're just cleaning. I've been cleaning it 
it now. It's looking good. But I can't reach anymore and this keeps sneaking into the ground. So I'm thinking that I'll just take this bucket. <laughs> it needs a nickname. It's, I think, Rusty. Rusty? I like the color. Mm -hmm. Nice color, that nice coppery color. Copper. Yeah, oh, no. but I think Rusty's a great name. I mean, it's not really Rusty, but it's. So, rusty. what do you like about it, Robert? Um, I don't know. It's old, I guess. You like it that it's old? Well, it's, uh, it's a little less complicated uh -huh. than they are today. And, Easier to work on. And it really, it's in great condition. It's a yeah. mess in here. I don't know if I want to show you yet, but <laughs> the interior is in. <laughs> Really? It's in almost new condition. Great condition. It's nothing fancy. It's just a basic XL model truck, but it's in fantastic condition. I don't like that, but that's bent up there still. Um, right. But anyway, the it's a nice old vehicle. We can turn it into a fifth wheel if we wanted. It's got that capability. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> I'm just really kind of impressed with it for so far. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Needs a new windshield, but 